Kia ora, Jel San, welcome. Ko K Webster Takuangua. My name's Kay Webster, I'm one of the priests at Wellington Cathedral. Um, I'm at home at the moment, I'm currently in isolation. What a joy it is to prepare for you uh, so that we can say morning prayer together. Uh, today's service comes from um, a New Zealand prayer book. If you have a copy of that, we're going to begin on page 63. The prayer book's easily accessed from the internet if you have two screens. Otherwise, just sit and be, let the words of prayer and intercession, let the words of scripture, let the word of God wash over you. Invite God to transform you and to change you, to challenge you and to support you here on this Monday morning. It's a great day in Wellington, what a privilege it is to sit under blue skies, to sit under a ponga tree, be surrounded by good people in our neighbourhood and so in that context let us pray. Our help comes from the Lord who has made heaven and earth. Open our lips O Lord and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The benedicity Aotearoa. O give thanks to our God who is good, whose love endures forever. You sun and moon, you stars of the southern sky, give to our God your thanks and praise. Sunrise and sunset, night and day, give to our God your thanks and praise. All mountains and valleys, grasslands and scree, glacier, avalanche, mist and snow, give to our God your thanks and praise. You kauri and pine, rata and kofi, mosses and ferns, give to our God your thanks and praise. Dolphins and kahawai, sea lion and crab, pippi, coral and anemone, pippi and shrimp, give to our God your thanks and praise. Rabbits and cattle, moths and dog, kiwi and sparrow and tui and hawk, Give to our God your thanks and praise. You Māori and Pākehā, women and men, all who inhabit the long white cloud, give to our God your thanks and praise. You saints and martyrs of the South Pacific, give to our God your thanks and praise. All prophets and priests, all cleaners and clerks, professors, shop workers, typists and teachers, Job seekers, invalids, drivers and doctors, give to our God your thanks and praise. All infants and children, all people who play, give to our God your thanks and praise. Our service continues with Psalm 5. Listen to my words, O Lord. Give heed to the sound of my groaning. Hear my cry for help, my God and my King, for to you I direct my prayer. In the morning, Lord, hear my voice. Early in the morning I make my plea. I look up to you for an answer. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness. No one who is evil can be your guest. The boastful may not stand in your sight. You hate all those who work mischief. You destroy all those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and the treacherous, O Lord, abhor you. But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will come into your house and bow low in reverence towards your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, into your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make your way Make straight your way before my face. There is no truth in their mouth, and their destruction is in their heart. Their throat is an open grave, and they flatter with their tongue. Give judgment against them, O Lord. Let them perish through their own devices. Cast them out because of their many transgressions, for they have rebelled against you. 
But let all who put their trust in you rejoice. Let them give thanks because you defend them. Those who love your name shall be joyful in you. For you, Lord, will give your blessing to the righteousness and with your favour you will defend them as with a shield. Our second reading continues in Hebrews. We're picking up at chapter 4, verse... Um, that's a good question. Verse 14. Hebrews chapter 4, beginning at verse 14. Since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathise with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested, as we are yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Every high priest chosen from amongst mortals is put in charge of things pertaining to God on their behalf to offer gifts and sacrifices for sin. He is able to deal gently with the ignorant and the wayward, since he himself is subject to weakness. And because of this, he must offer his own sins as well as those for the people. And one does not presume to take this honour, but takes it only when called by God, just as Aaron was. So also, Christ did not glorify himself in becoming a high priest, but was appointed by the one who said to him, You are my son, today I have begotten you. And he says also in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud, loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. He was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered, and having made perfect, became the source of eternal salvation for all who obeyed him. Having been designated by God a high priest, according to the order of Melchizedek. Let's sit in silence and let the word of God speak to us through God's word. Loving God, all that we have experienced, you too have experienced. And for this, we give you thanks. Let's say together a joyful assembly. We have come before God's holy mountain, the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. We have come before a myriad of angels and festal gatherings, before the assembly of the firstborn citizens of heaven. We have come before God, the judge of all before the spirits of the righteous made perfect, and Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant. We are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Let us therefore give thanks to God, thus offering acceptable worship with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let's spend some time in intercession. Let's take the opportunity to pray, to ask God's grace and God's mercy upon God's world. Loving God, we pray for those who are imprisoned, for prisoners throughout this land. We pray for those who will spend today in solitary confinement. We pray for those who live in our prisons afraid of COVID. We pray for those that work with them, for prison officers, 
for those in the Department of Corrections. We pray for those who have been victims of crime. May justice be the experience of all of these people, we pray. We pray for the organisation Just Speak, for those that are seeking justice in this land, for those that are seeking legal reform. Loving God, we pray for the Royal Commission on Abuse in State and Faith-Based Care. We pray for those who have experienced abuse in places that should have been safe. We pray for those who have spoken about their abuse but through the years have been ignored. We pray for those who are speaking up during this Royal Commission. May their cry be heard. May healing come. We pray for the people of Ukraine. We pray that corridors would open so that people could flee what has become a war zone. We pray that they would have access to food and to medical, medical care. We pray for those that are fleeing into the unknown. Loving God, our heart aches. We cry out to you and we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. When the disciples asked Jesus, how shall we pray? Jesus responded with this pattern. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from evil, for yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I'm not sure whether it has been well recorded. I'm sitting here on my deck. I can hear a dog barking, a neighbour opening their door, a trailer going down the street. I'd like to invite you to take this week to pray for your neighbourhood, for those that live nearby. Timing is everything. Let us say together the morning collect. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Help us from falling into sin or running into danger. Guide us to do what is right in your eyes. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with joy and peace in believing that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may abound in hope. Amen. And the neighbour's dog is called Wicket. I hope you have a blessed day.